So, let us try to reflect about what happens in a typical traditional classroom. So, in such a classroom what happens during class is most mostly information transmission. Okay, information transmission means the instructor is giving a lecture and students are taking notes. Sometimes the instructor may ask questions to which students respond. Sometimes the students ask questions to which the instructor responds. Okay, and what is happening outside the classroom is the activity of assimilation or the students becoming getting some mastery over the content. Okay. And this is done by the instructor giving problem sets and assignments which students have to solve and submit. And now students may work individually or work in groups. Okay, so, I will pause here for a minute for you to reflect upon what are the limitations, what might be the limitations of such a classroom. Okay, so, having given you one minute to reflect. So, let, let us look at some limitations, there are some uh, centers which are still sending in the limitations, it is very encouraging that many of the limitations that you are sending in are actually matching with uh, the limitations that I have listed on this slide. So, let us just quickly look at these limitations. Okay. So, during class when there is the information transmission that happens, the instructor is lecturing. So, often as instructors we think that we want to, we are the ones who are most excited about our content right. I mean, even right now I am speaking and I am excited about saying this, I do not know how many of you are actually listening to me right. So, that is one reason that students do not pay utmost attention to the instructor's lecture, okay, however good it may be. And students, the second thing is students assume that they can understand because they can follow the lecture. So, this is a big drawback with the lecturing model and even if we improve on lecturing by having some interactivity such as instructor asking questions, often what happens is that these questions are answered only by a few students typically who are the high achievers or the toppers of the class and others are left behind. On the other hand when students ask questions, often these questions are also asked only by a few students and sometimes the instructor makes the assumption that because a few students have understood and have asked some advanced questions, the entire class is able to follow at that level and so the instructor sometimes unwittingly goes ahead with the material when a large part of the class has not been able to keep up, has not been able to apply the learning that has been transmitted in that particular session. So, that is one limitation of the traditional classroom from the during class perspective. If you look at the limitation of the traditional classroom from the outside the class perspective during the assimilation phase. So, now the instructor feels that okay, I have given problem sets and I have given assignments to the students and if they do these problems and assignments then they will attain mastery over the content. So, now what may happen is that these problem sets and assignments may be too challenging for some students. On the other hand they may be too simple or boring for other students. In both cases students may not may lose interest in solving these problems and the instructor often does not come to know which student is having what type of difficulty. So, instructor does not know which are the students who have found it challenging, instructor does not know which are the students who have found it boring. Okay. So, it can possibly lead to copying of the answers. Okay. So, the second reason is that students study individually or in groups and this typically happens just before the assignment submission deadline or the exam which may cause students to focus on the assessment and not on the concept mastery itself. Okay. So, again most of us are familiar you know most of us often say that you know students study only at the last minute. So, considering that perspective what is likely to happen in a traditional classroom is that even though the instructor has given lot of problem sets and assignments for the students to practice all of this practice often for a majority of the students gets postponed to a few days before the exam right that is a very common phenomenon that we uh, observe in our classes. So, there will be those students who do it very diligently early and there will be some students who will never do it both extremes are there, but for the large part 
the students will do it only when there is some forcing function such as a submission deadline or an exam. So, the drawback of doing that is that the students focus at that point because of the deadline is on the assessment and it is not on the concept attainment. So, these are the two major limitations of the traditional classroom. 